Hello everyone, we will continue the topic BDC. In the previous videos, what we did, we recorded the steps of MM01 and we transferred our recording to the program. And this is the program which has the recording. Now, we will use this program to upload the legacy data into SAP or we can understand in a way we will use this program to migrate the legacy data into SAP because this program has the recording. Now, what is our first step of data migration when we discuss the topic? The first step is extracting the data means customer team will extract that data they will prepare a file based upon that data and they will provide to us so that we can upload that legacy data file into sap suppose customer team provided the data into a file. This is a Excel file. Suppose we'll go for a consideration that customer team extracted the data. They prepared a Excel file for that legacy data and provide it to us. So suppose I will open this file. Now, this data we need to migrate to SAP system but I cannot directly migrate this legacy data because legacy system data format might be different from SAP data format. It means before uploading the legacy data into SAP, we need to convert the data to appropriate format. If you remembered, when we cover the second step of data migration, we need to convert the data to appropriate format so that SAP can accept that data. We will analyze this data. Suppose when we created the material through MM01, we pass the material number. We have the material number. Okay. First column data is okay. Now I will come on to industry sector. Customer team provided us the industry sector pharmaceutical. Yes, in SAP also we have pharmaceutical. But if you remember, we are choosing pharmaceutical, but SAP is storing P, the length of industry sector is one character. It means I cannot pass pharmaceutical. I need to pass P because industry sector is one character long. Now, similarly, I will come to material type. Now, material type is four characters long. So you cannot pass raw material because it is more than four characters. You cannot pass additional. Additional is more than four characters. So if you remember, we choose raw material, but SAP is storing four digit code. So we will rather than passing this raw material and additional, we will pass the four digit code. Suppose T-R-O-H. T-R-O-H is the code for the raw material. Similarly, for the additionals, the four digit code is VKHM. Now, for fourth column, material description. Okay, we can pass the material description. It's okay. Now, I will come on to unit of measurement. Customer team provided us each, but is SAP is accepting each? No. SAP is accepting EA. If we will see the unit of measurement, it is EA. If we will see EA stands for each, but SAP is storing EA. 
it means we need to convert this data to appropriate format so that SAP can accept this data. And this is the most important step and it is called as conversion. This step is called as conversion. Now what I will do, I will simply change the industry sector to P in this particular Excel. I will change the material type for raw material. The four digit code is T-R-O-H. For the additionals, the four digit code is V-K-H-N. I will pass. We just took the five records. If you think a real project, real project, we have huge amount of legacy data we will receive from the customer billion trillion of records which we have to upload in SAP. But process will remain the same if we will take five records, if we will take billion trillion of records, the process will remain the same. So our second step is done. We converted the data to appropriate format. Now I will copy this data. The first column is header. First row is label of the columns. Our data actually starts from second row. So I will simply, simply copy this data and I will paste into a notepad. I will prepare a text document. Now, if you see the separator between the data of two columns is tab, tab. If you will see, because in the Excel, if you want to go from one column to another column, suppose if I will go for one column to second column, how I can go with the help of tab and we simply copy that data from the Excel to the notepad. It means in our notepad also, what is the separator between that data of two columns? It is tab. Now I will save this data. I will save this data on my desktop. Suppose I will give that name as legacy materials. So now our target is to upload this data into SAP. This is our target. I will go to the program now. Now, for the time being, I will comment everything which SAP generated and slowly, slowly we will uncomment. Now, what is the input to this program? Input is legacy data, legacy data. This legacy data is a input to this program. And we know whenever we want to give a input to the program, we can give through parameter or select option. As of now, we have a single file. So we will create a parameter because parameter accept a single value. So I will create a parameter for my, for the legacy file. To create a parameter, parameters is the keyword. I will give some name to the parameter and I will write type local file. Now the question comes, what is this local file? It is a SAP predefined data element, which has a domain of character 128. It means our P underscore file is character 128. I will activate this program. I will run my program and you can see input is ready, but end user will never understand P underscore file. So I will give a proper description, go to text element selection text, and I will write P underscore file suppose is input file. I will activate. Now, if I will run my program, 
you can see input file and input is ready for this program. Rest part, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.